Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. This video is an introduction to the basic audio editing features of WavePad. To download and install WavePad, go to the address you see on your screen. If you want to move parts of your audio around within the file on WavePad, or copy a portion to another project, you'll first need to make a selection. The easiest way to select the entire file is to press Ctrl A or Command A on a Mac. Once selected, the entire file will be highlighted. To select a smaller portion, click at the beginning of that section and drag to the other end of the selection. Pressing play will play only the highlighted area, so you can make sure you've selected the correct part. Before we talk about cut, copy, and paste, there are two tools that come in handy while editing on WavePad. The first one, Undo, allows you to undo up to eight of your last actions. If you undo too many, use the Redo button to reinstate the erased action. Use the Cut, Copy, and Paste buttons to move your selections around within a file or to a new WavePad project. Clicking on Copy loads your selection on the clipboard so you can copy it elsewhere. Similarly, clicking on Cut also adds your selections onto the clipboard, but removes it from the location you selected it from. Once you've clicked either cut or copy, you can insert the selection in another part of the file or in a new file by clicking on the new location and then clicking paste. You can paste the selection as many times as you need before you load another selection onto the clipboard. The last tool in the editing section at the top of WavePad is the delete button, which of course deletes your selection from the file. A common editing technique is trimming, or the removal of blank space at the beginning and end of a recording. This task is extremely simple on WavePad. First, select the portion of the file you want to keep. Then click on the Trim icon from the secondary toolbar. Easy. One of the first things you might want to use WavePad for is to record your voice over a piece of music. WavePad does not allow you to record directly over another file. If you try highlighting your file and pressing record, you actually end up replacing that part of the audio. To achieve a voiceover, you need to combine two files. Use the Paste Mix function to put two files together. What Paste Mix does is takes an audio selection you put on the clipboard and pastes it into the currently selected region. Let's do that now. First, select the Mix Audio by using Ctrl A or Command A to select the entire file and click the Copy icon from the toolbar. Next, select the second file the same way using Ctrl or Command A. Now, go to the Edit menu and select Paste Mix. A window pops up giving you some options if your files are not the same length. If the mix audio is the shorter of the two files, you can ignore the options and click OK. If the mix audio is longer, you have to decide what happens when the audio you're recording over is finished. Choose Increase Selection if you want the combined file to end after the mix audio ends. Choose Fade Out Mix if you want the two files to end at the same time. Our mix audio is shorter in this demo, so we can just click OK. WavePad then places the mix audio over the selected audio, and when you click play, you can hear the files have been combined. If you need more advanced functionality from the mixing audio, try MixPad from NCH Software at the address shown on your screen. You can split a file into two at any point you choose using WavePad. To do this, first click at the point you want to split, and then choose the Split into Two icon from the secondary toolbar, or find the option under the Edit menu. Careful when you use this function, the action cannot be undone. WavePad also has the ability to automatically detect silences and split the file at those points. To do this, go to the Edit menu and select Auto Split. Choose the threshold for what you consider a silence and the duration the silence must last to qualify for a file split. After you click OK, you'll see that WavePad has split your file into new smaller files. You've just been shown editing basics using NCH Software's WavePad Sound Editor. For more information on WavePad's effects features, watch the Intro to Effects WavePad tutorial. You can also refer to the help manual for explanations of more advanced functions, which can be accessed by pressing F1 from the WavePad program.